Okay, guys, this is uh, this is Grouper Moon 2012. This is some of the video we shot for you all while uh, while you guys were busy in the classroom. We were out here busy doing research, and this is what it looks like when we are diving out at the spawning aggregation on the west end of Little Cayman. We had really wonderful weather while we were out and lots of good conditions, and so we were able to get really up close and personal with all of the Nassau grouper that were out on the West End spawning site. And this is what it looks like as you swim through the cloud of NASA grouper that showed up. There were probably 4,000 fish, more or less, that showed up at the spawning site. That's many more than we've had show up in the last uh, eight or nine years. So definitely signs of recovery ongoing. And this is what it looks like at night. So you have lots of fish milling around during the day, but at night, they're releasing gametes, just like this. So they're they're spawning, they're reproducing, they're releasing eggs. And you'll see many different examples of that out here. And they release so many eggs, uh, so many new future NASA grouper that the the actually the 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 ocean gets cloudy. It's very difficult to see through. Um, it's just a huge mass of fish spawning, fish releasing eggs. And it drops visibility down so that you have a what looks like a cloud. It's like a plane flying through a cloud. You really can't see through it. And that's a really good thing. It's signs that this, this NASA grouper population is being very effective at reproducing and producing a new generation of NASA grouper uh, for um, coming back and having new babies and, and new fish on local reefs in the Cayman Islands. And... Um, while you're watching this video, you should watch out for um, big fish. So you'll see, here's a great example right here of a really large female with a huge, big, distended belly. And, and those fish have, the reason their bellies are so big is because they have a whole bunch of eggs inside of them. And those are the eggs that they ultimately release right at the spawning site there. And so those big females are, are, are the prize. Those are the ones that all the males, as you can see here, are... Are following, them, are following them around the spawning sites, waiting for them to release their eggs so they can release their sperm at the same time and, and create new NASA grouper babies. And you see this all the time uh, during the evening dives. We have, we, have, we have divers in the water constantly during this period, not only recording information about um, how many fish that we see, but also counting the number of spawning bursts that happen. And in addition to, to those uh, divers counting and, and uh, keeping track of the numbers of fish, we also have divers that are collecting eggs, and we're using those eggs um, to, to study the new individuals or new fish that are showing up at the spawning site so we can keep track of, of how many fish are here now and how many fish are going to be here into the near future. It's all part of recovery.